I'm gonna show you how to, without any special tools, recover uh, 18650 type of uh, battery cell. Uh, before we start, I want to mention that if you have cell like this, which has uh, a corrosion and it is leaking, do not try to do this. It is not safe in the long run, even if you manage to recover it, I do not recommend it. Uh, the symptoms are this. If you test the voltage of uh, this cell, in this case is uh, 0.89, which is too low for the charger to kickstart and start charging the cell. So what you need to do for this test is the next. A known good cell which is working with good voltage. So I will show you. You want to charge this cell before doing everything what I will show you. It is 4.192. It is a full battery. And the next thing you will need the two wires. Uh, so this is without any special tools you you can grab any two wires I prefer a thicker ones because uh, it is easier to work and when you bend them they will stay in desired position take these two cells and uh, place them like this so the plus is on the one side and uh, negative is on the other side. What you want to do is uh, uh, place uh, one wire on the one end I prefer first to place like this on the negative side and this is a positive side and hold these wires like this for around 30 seconds 15 seconds not more because if the uh, empty cell is damaged it can overheat really fast and start burning so you want to have that in, in check by doing with small steps like this so 15 20 30 seconds max okay this is enough for start so take the multimeter okay nothing happened the voltage is the same okay I seen the spark so the connection now is good I guess the first time I didn't place the wires properly. Okay. I feel the battery already started to get warm even for this small amount of, amount of time. But hey, we have 2.7 volts already on it. So let's give it a bit more of juice. And this is why you don't want to, to leave the battery like this in your uh, charger. And you can also place uh, two batteries in your charger. Do not connect the charger to AC power. You just place it like this and put the wires like this in the charger. It is easier, but by doing that unchecked, this battery can start burning. So that is not recommended. So again, minus and plus. Okay, let's recheck. Always look to be on the safer side. Three volts. Okay, we. I believe we can start charging this battery right now. So, so let's try. We have a little color charger. Take your battery. And we see now that the battery is detected. Originally, the charger wouldn't even see the battery. And let's see if will it charge it. It seems good for now. Let's leave it for around uh, 10 minutes and come back to check. Uh, keep, keep an eye on the battery for its temperature because these batteries which had the problem can overheat abnormally and go into the flames. So the first charge after you recover it, uh, keep uh, extra 
um, attention on it and don't leave it unchecked. As you can see, it charged already to 1,088 milliampere hours, so it will be probably nearly full capacity battery because it was just a discharge battery. The protection did not turn on, uh, there were no need for any additional uh, touching of the battery. So if you have just dis heavily discharged battery, you can revive it by doing this. I hope you enjoyed watching, consider subscribing and until next time, see ya!